Okay folks, back once again with another video. And today we're answering a question that someone sent to me, big up the mayor, asking about how to set up MIDI channels in Optimed 5. So today we're gonna to do a video about that. And if you wanna see me answer more questions on the fly, the way I'm here now, such as how to use your S3000, etc., please leave a like. If I get to 200 likes, we'll jump on to the next video. So without further ado, guys, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to set up your MIDI on your Commodore Amiga. Now, it's really simple. All you have to do is go to here and go to, say, an instrument, for example. Let's say, amen. As we do, hit that. It says object not found. Don't worry about that, guys. Next is you go to here. Make sure all the volume is turned up on the track as well. And then go to where it says MIDI and make sure your MIDI is active. Now, with MIDI, you can have up to 16 channels. That means that you can have different things on different channels, i.e. you can have Amen, you can have bass, vocal, string, you get my drift. Now the main thing to remember is if you wanna play a keyboard into it, like a music keyboard, instead of your normal keyboard it comes with, you've got pressed input. Now this is the way you do it on Octomed 4. You can also do it on Octomed 5. Octomed 5 is slightly different. So let's load up Octomed 5. I mean, it's the same principle. You just got to look for stuff in a different place. So this is how you do it here. Same rules apply, but this time you check your parameters here. And then you just right click your mouse and then you put MIDI active on here. Right? So Bear in mind, guys, that when you're using MIDI tracks, it depends on where you put this cursor. This cursor has to be in the right place. On Optimate, in theory, the first four tracks are usually for internal audio. So what you'd have to do is go to your block, set your properties, and set the number of tracks here. So you'd say track four onwards to keep things neat would be your MIDI stuff. And as you play it, it will come out. Same rules apply for Octomed 4 as well. Octomed 4 does exactly the same thing. You just have to set your tracks, which I'm gonna show you now quickly to wrap this up. And guys, if you're getting anything out of this content, please like, share, and subscribe. All right, so now we're gonna to go to Octomed 4. I'm gonna show you that, there you go. And we're gonna to go to the block here and then just set your number of tracks, say eight tracks, and the same rules apply. With Octomed 4, I find the user interface is a little bit more sort of nicer. Uh, comment down below, let me know what version of Octomed you like to use on the Commodore Amiga or even an emulator, guys. That would be fantastic. All right, that's it for today's video. Peace out. 